Once again, we welcome our friend Jeff Passon to the show. And Jeff, my eyes were drawn to there will be baseball. And I kept coming back to that. I ignored the caveats and the caution because we understand that whatever we're trying to do at this <laughs> point, there are caveats and caution. But I was drawn to there will be baseball. What makes the people in the game, Jeff, so certain that there will be? You know, I think it's a number of things, Scott. And first and foremost is that we seem to be moving in a positive direction as mm -hmm. a country. Maybe it's slowly, hopefully, it's surely, but going in the right direction is the first step. And once we get sort of the logistical things handled, once we can figure out testing, and once we can figure out and ensure that our hospitals aren't going to be overrun, and once we get a better sense, hopefully, of what this disease actually is, then we can focus on sports, and then sports will feel comfortable coming back. And that's always been the rub here. Sports doesn't want to come back too quickly because it doesn't want to feel trivial, because it doesn't want to feel like it's interrupting the reality that we're living on a daily basis. But if that reality is getting better, if the country is reopening, all of a sudden sports seems to fit in really nicely with that. And I think we saw that with the draft, or at least got a taste of it with the NFL draft this weekend. I agree with everything you said, and I think that you and others have made the point that there will be a collaborative effort between both sides of the aisle to lock arms and say, we got to get there together. Until, Jeff, until things feel normal enough that it won't feel trivial to bitch about yeah. money. And when that happens, that feels like a gigantic <laughs> hurdle because somebody's going to say, hey, how much money are we getting here? How much does this all count? And you lay that out in your article, the 20 questions today. How big a sticking point will figuring out the money be? There's a reason, Scott, that over my shoulder right here, I have a Wu-Tang Clan record. Uh -huh. Because every time in sports we are talking about a story of substance, mm -hmm. it gets back to the famous words, cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. And that is what we are going to be dealing with here, potentially with Major League Baseball. Now, I, I hate to be talking about this because it does seem so trivial, it does seem so wrong, but right now Major League Baseball says, and the owners of the teams are saying, if we play games without fans, then we are going to lose money this year if we pay the players everything they are owed. The players say, we had an agreement with you guys in which we agreed to get paid a prorated share depending on the number of games played. This may end up with the two sides at loggerheads. And if it does, I, I just, you know, I look at this and I'm like, at some point, hopefully, the two sides can recognize that we need to be partners right here, that, that the nation deserves baseball more than any of the other important things going on between the parties. And if we can get to that point, hopefully they can push it past the finish line. You, you framed it as sort of a World Cup style deal. I said it was like an AAU tournament, 24 games over the course of a <laughs> month. Like, a, I love it. I mean, if, if, if it came to pass, you'd have something. But I mean, ultimately, as, as Tim Kirchin said, it's gonna be a bad idea. It's just what's the best of the bad ideas. Jeff, do you land there that when we finally get something, it's going to be like, man, this is a mess, but it's the best of the of the messes we have to choose from? Scott, we're going to be watching baseball games in empty stadiums potentially for months at a time. Right. There is no greater mess than that, but it is going to be our beautiful disaster. And we as a country, I think, and as sports fans, are going to really embrace what we have. And it's going to make us appreciate that much more what we don't, so that when we do get back to normal, when stadiums do fill up, we're going to love it that much more. You know, I've been thinking lately. I was, I was at the AFC Championship game with my sons this year in Kansas City. I live in Kansas City, both huge Chiefs fans. And just looking back on that day, it makes me feel lucky that I had that time with them, that I had that time with, you know, the people around me who for, for decades had not seen their team go to the Super Bowl. And just being there, that's the sort of thing I miss. And I think that's the sort of thing that everybody is missing right now. And at some point, the path we go on here, whether it's having baseball played in three cities, whether it's having a tournament at the end of the year, whether it's having uh, games in empty stadiums at home, whatever it is, 
it is going to be better than nothing, and it's going to get us back to that place eventually where we all want to be. Perfectly said. And if you had Jeff Passan in the bingo game to say dollar, dollar bill, y'all, actually finish the lyric and bring it back to Kelly Clarkson with Beautiful Disaster, then you win. We all win when we talk to Jeff Passan. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Take care. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.